Holy fuck. Yeah, you like that? You got any oh, you see today? That? Just took it. Just took his life like it wasn't nothing. What are you looking at? This city is going to. We're falling behind here. Chop, chop. Let's go. We, we need a doctor here. Is anybody a doctor? Bet it ain't this born in Nam. Huh? <laughs> Ugh, someone could use a shower. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> this is what happens if you lip off. Take him down. Motherfucker has a death. Run, Rabbit, run! Okay, he's now, <laughs> 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 
Don't you know you're damn? I'm boxed in on it! I ain't going out like that. I'm not fucking ready, man. Us down. Gotta hunker down. Get out of here. What with the you ticked off the Get wrong the black boy. Get behind him. Time to fuck you up. Word is, Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. What dangers, you all right? Some brothers come back fired up and ready for a fight, while others could go their entire lives without touching another firearm.
Serious. Vito says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Sure can, honey, and a friend of Vito says a friend of mine. Be there like this split. The hell? Got something I can hang on to? over here, you bunch of fuckwits! <laughs> Fucking hell! Grab a cover! You ain't... Got nowhere to go! <laughs> Fuck me! Now I... <laughs> <Got it> already! <laughs> Either you kill me, or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here...
The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Skeletta until after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Settling in, just spread out in the street, drunk or messed up some other way. It's not even safe to walk around there without one trying to catch you. Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his uncle Sal gave him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. You get hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right.
She's gone wrong down here. Hello. if there's a unit in the area, hey, maybe you can pass one? by and check hey. it out. <laughs> Be feet, cocksucker.
fan of that bullshit. Even that shine down in Memphis. After the so-called assassinations, look what happened. Mac is on its way to a race war. Communist. Yeah. Fake the president's death. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know if you're smart or really fucking. I do not oh, fucking like this. Trying to get medical supplies to Cuba for extra cash. I know where the shipment is. Your ass is mine now. We feeling good. Spotted him! This way! <laughs> oh, shit, he hit me! <laughs> Running for cover! Back me up, boys! <laughs> Back me up, boys! <laughs> Keep your head down!
the man. Holy shit, that's a car! Keep your head down! Circle round him! Fuck has got me pinned! Run for cover! Spider one, boys! Fucker has me trapped! He's taking out the whole team! There you are. Oh, where that came from? Fuck, reloaded. Fucking flies. Guess he's long gone. I could have swore he was here. I ain't ever gonna stop looking. Oh, Jesus. He's dead.
Time for you to play another hand and let me win my oh. money back. Uh. Uh, Point something gone. over there. <sighs> While it's feeling a little light, fellas, might have to fold after this one. Run. Son of a sneaky son of a bitch. Anybody follow you? Boy, it's rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vito will turn things around. You'll see. That poor fucker Roy is back at the warehouse. Do what you gotta do. Can I get a resupply in River Row? I'll head your way now. Anything you want here? Show me what you got. This with.
Good. Call me if you need. What's the over under on Greco getting rid of Mr. Thibodeau? It's good odds if we keep losing money and merchandise like we've been. We don't have the balls for this kind of work. Run, Rabbit, run! Get me out of here! Your ass! Oh, those bastards got me trapped! I'm fucking. Grab and go! I'm fucking. I got a man down here! Searching now. Get out of here. I'm gonna break him in half. Chicken flew the fuck up. Ah, hell. Fuck her ain't here. Over here now. The fuck? Get him! Over here! Over here! Over here! Let's go! Get that stupid son of a fuck! He's here! They're gonna have to carry you out! Go! Give me a hand! Shot! Uh. 
You don't want to do this? Sure I do. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greg goes a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. He'll probably send out some of his men, have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want. But don't kill him. That's for me. I was in the 3rd Platoon Company C of the 614th Tank Destroyer Battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Blimbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about the medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Hey, Lincoln. Everything back to normal here now. Thanks to you. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whoas in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. God, suck. Right, come on, back to the car, you drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. end up with my car. He's a little fucked, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. Once I'm done with Greco, you cocksuckers are next! Fuck off, you don't fuck! I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit shit get away. Oh, he's running! He's out of ammo! He fucking out of Fuck! Fuck! 
God damn it! The fuck are you? Let's get him the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Responding you to off. It's not one thing. The fucking cops are on our ass. There he is. Let's go. You got real police income. What? What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker. That's what happened. Now shut the fuck up. Let me go. Yeah, kiddo. Ride will be over soon. We gotta do something about those fucking cops. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! Help! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew. Shit. <laughs> For a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Ronnie, I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. Do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet bagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> ah! 
You want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it. <gasps> I told you what you wanted to know. You could have let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma, helps me out sometimes. Cuban, mean as fuck. She talked to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe tree time. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck 